Today we had a windshield wiper motor go bad on a Peterbilt. We're going to show you guys how to fix it. Take a look. Man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times are hard in Mississippi. What's going on, guys? Today we got a Peter car in the shop. And the problem is the windshield washer, windshield wipers ain't working. Let me turn this thing on, let you guys hear what's going on here. Yeah, I don't sound too good. Let's see if we can't dive into this thing and we'll show you guys what's going on. All right, guys, way up here, we got the windshield wash, windshield wiper motor. If I could talk today, things would be a lot better. Anyway, it's not turning, so this is where the wiper motor is, and you can see there ain't nothing appear to be stripped out. It's just not wanting to act right and work. So we fixing the tire into this bad boy and see if we can't fix it. All right, Wild Bill's tearing into this thing, so we're gonna learn what to do and how to fix it. That rod there is the rod that goes over the passenger side wiper. All right, guys, as y'all seen, Bill was struggling here and down there. Look at this, holy hell, if they ain't a hole poke right there. Somebody is doing their homework. Thank God. Not too many of them engineers do homework anymore. Get this figured out right. Well, I guess I just seen if you guys are paying attention on this. That's what it was. Hey, Bill, you know, he uh, he just wanted to see if we noticed he was struggling down there and then he wanted to point out that I had these holes right here. So don't so, struggle. Always make it easier if you can. Just, just making sure we was on our toes. So we're about to get the last one out and that should Somebody's had them out before. Maybe let us have access to this And right there she lays. I'm telling what kind of dead birds and all kind of crap like that you can find to pull something like this. Right. You can reach down through here and unplug it, but it's a whole lot easier if you reach through from the bottom side and unplug it with plugs into the harness. That's what he did, and there it is. We'll take it over to the table where we can examine that bad boy. The operating table. Alrighty, and that right there is the culprit. As you can see, that's the factory blade, the date on the motor is 6, 10, 11. So it's 2012 model truck. So it's probably, you know, it's done its deed, I guess. So next thing we're gonna do is take this off and these three bolts out of here. Then we can jerk this bad boy out of there and get a new one on. And most of the time when that thing is parked, it's gonna be covering up a bolt. Ain't that some crap? Every time. Them engineers weren't thinking too well on that, I know. At least they put the hole in there. Yeah. All right. We got them three big bad bolts out of there. We're going to take this son again out. Anyway, while I was in the midst of working, you guys may have seen on some of my comments uh, a fella named Brandon Jackson. Well, that's him right there. Anyway, 
we uh we're gonna knock this out try to get this damn thing done there. If I had it to do all over again, it could go back in time, I wouldn't get into trucking. You know what I'd do? What's that? I'd work at Walmart. Would I'd, you be the old man or the greeter? No, I want to be the buggy guy, and that way you get to go outside. Oh. I'd be the buggy guy. Would you wear the vest? I'd wear the vest. They wanted me to. I'd okay. Wear I'm not too good to be a company man. <laughs> all right, we got her out of there, so... We're going to call the Napa Auto Parts store here in Boone, Vegas and see if they got a new one because she's definitely got some issues. So we'll try to get a hold of them. We'll be back. All righty. The old Napa truck brought us this one. I hope like crap it's going to fit because you guys can see here's the pigtail on this one. And here's the pigtail on the old one quite a bit of difference in the length of them. So we're gonna stick it on here. See what happens. Well, after putting the spacer back around that or the bushing, whatever you want to call that, as you can see, the holes are different. So we're gonna have to drill some new holes and hope it all works. All right, guys, what I did, of course, you see the bolt pattern on the new one's different. So I put some paint marker around it where I could mark the holes, and we're going to have to drill it out and hope like hell it's all going to work. So here goes nothing. We'll be back in a minute. We'll see what it's gonna do. All right, we got our holes re-drilled. Everything bolted up, so let's go try it on, see how she fits. All right, guys, you can see we finally got that son of a buck in there. So now we're gonna try to hook all the linkage back up. And life will be beautiful again. All righty, guys. You can see we got the um, the motor back in. All the linkages hooked back up. The windshield washer squared it, line, all that good crap. Bill's plug her up in the bottom, and then we gonna hit the key and hopefully see some action. We're gonna have to order a new wiper blade. Broke this side, but we got it pinned out so we can test it. So let's see what happens. Oh, look at there. We got wipers. All right, guys. So that's how you replace your windshield wiper motor. This is a Peterbilt, and they're all about the same. But anyway, that's how you do it. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down here below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Have a great one.